What's he gonna cook? We don't know. It's the boys and girls club making show. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the Boys and Girls Club Baking Show, the show where I know how to bake about as well as I can carve a pumpkin. I'm your host, Chef Coach Paul, head chef of all things pumpkin spice. Today we're going to be baking the best kind of pie. That's right, pumpkin, no apple, no pecan, none of that nonsense. Only pumpkin here in this household. And we're going to be doing it quick. No wasting time. Last time we took forever to bake those rolls and we did it wrong. This time we're going to do it right and we're going to go fast. All right. We are using a secret family recipe courtesy of Coach, my mother. Please don't tell her that I have stolen this recipe. The ingredients you will need are three eggs, one cup of sugar, one stick of melted butter, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of nutmeg, one teaspoon of allspice. I don't know what the heck that is. You'll need whatever a pinch of salt means. Two cups of, co two cups of cooked pumpkin, fresh if you can do it. I, I made mine fresh expertly as you can see right here. And a nine inch unbaked pie crust that is definitely not store bought. So to start, we're gonna we're gonna uh, we're gonna get a bowl and a fork, and we're gonna we're gonna beat our eggs. Crack them in this thing. This is actually the least mess I've ever made cracking eggs, so I'm really impressed with myself. All right, now we're gonna beat our eggs here, as you can see. I'm not gonna tilt it to the camera because that would be a dumb thing to do. Make sure it looks oh. Kind of move the fork around in the egg and the egg yolk until it starts to look kind of like it's one cohesive yellow thing. Once your eggs are nice and beat, beat, beaten, we're gonna pour them into the uh, mixing bowl here. So there we go. Oh, that was not beat nearly as well as, sh as it should have been. Up next, we are going to, okay, so the recipe, right. Let's, so, audience is a little rowdy today. I don't know why they keep barking in the backyard. Up next, we're gonna take our one cup of sugar and we're gonna pour that into, we're gonna get a pinch of salt that I don't have. All right, about 20% of that made it in. I don't know what a pinch of salt is, so I guess don't put too much. We're gonna pour in our half stick of melted butter that we definitely have not spilled all over the place. Water. Um. <laughs> We're gonna pour in our spices now. So we've got, uh, let's start with cinnamon. So classic cinnamon, uh, nothing special about this one as you can see, it's really nice stuff. <laughs> So we're gonna pour in a teaspoon of cinnamon. There we go. I, I always go a little extra cinnamon just, just for funsies, you know? It's, we can get crazy when we're cooking. Up next, we're gonna get our nutmeg. A teaspoon of that. And lastly, we're gonna get our allspice. <coughs> okay. Just a teaspoon of that. Beautiful, now we've got pumpkin spice. Isn't that crazy? Okay, so then we're gonna get our lovely fresh pumpkin and we're gonna pour that in. Wait, should we? Okay, so we're gonna blend the spices first before we add the pumpkin, because we read directions here. So we're gonna, we're gonna turn on the mixer here, just. <laughs> Smells like butter. We're gonna add in our fresh pumpkin. Okay, well, you might need a rubber spatula to get all of the pumpkin out. We don't want to lose any of that goodness. So you should lift it up before you start mixing, because that's how you use a mixer, apparently. Now, we're going to make sure our pie is on a level surface, and we're going to pour in this batter or filling or whatever you call it.
use a rubber spatula to scrape out the rest of that in there. Ooh, oh, oh, okay. Now it is time to preheat your oven to 350 degrees or do that beforehand because preparation. Now, I don't know this from experience because obviously this is the first time I've ever baked a pie and I'm an expert at this uh, first go around. But let's say for instance that I've baked two pies already and I've destroyed both of them horrifically. That would be partly because the directions were weird. <laughs> this is how it's supposed to look according to the recipe that I'm following. And also because I did not put the pie at the bottom of the oven. I put it at the top or in the middle and it doesn't bake right. So make sure you are putting your pie in the bottom rack. Now a lot of people have said on previous episodes of this show, Coach Paul, Chef Coach Paul, you burn everything you bake. Well. That may be true. The recipe says bake this for 40 minutes. I am going to bake it for probably about that long, but I'm gonna check it before it burns. Now we're gonna put this bad boy in the oven. If I can lift it. Pro tip, put it on one of these things. That way it doesn't spill all over your oven. It's a very delicate process here. Huh. Easy. While that pie's baking in the oven, now's a good time to tell you to like and subscribe, support the Boys and Girls Club. We love making these videos and we'd love your support even more. Hey, it's me, Future Paul, doing all the dishes, cleaning up the kitchen. That's my dogs, my parents just got home. Quick tip, do the dishes while it's baking because your parents might come home and then it gets really awkward if they see the whole kitchen's a mess. One way you can check to make sure that it's done is you can stick a fork in, and if it comes out like that, it's probably not quite done, so we're gonna let it bake a little bit more before we pull it out. Well, look at that, folks. We have a beautiful pumpkin pie that did not take me three tries to make. I did it right on the first time. And at last, we come to the end of our show, folks. Oh, I know, I know, it's gonna be okay. Listen, listen, if we get enough likes, we will have another episode and I will make you dulce de leche. And it'll definitely only take me one try, and I, I mean that. It'll only take me one try. Until then, folks, like, subscribe, support the Boys and Girls Club, enjoy your pumpkin pie, have a great day.